it's to me there's like a few things that are really funny about and brilliant about the um what people who are studying psychedelics as a medicine have decided to um do the studies on one of them is the effects that psilocybin has on people with um, a terminal prognosis and the fact that it seems to help them overcome their fear of death. And so, you know, this is the thing, interestingly enough, you can read about and kind of just casually overlook the implications of what that means. You just think, oh, I guess it just like, it just must smooth like a, there must be like a muscle spasm in their brain that it like, it must smooth out. When the implication to me is that, oh yeah, the reason it helps you overcome your fear of death is because when taken therapeutically in the right circumstances, you die. And when you die, you see what's on the other side. And when you see what's on the other side, you realize, oh my fucking God, I have been completely brainwashed by having a lack of access to information about the true geography of the universe that I'm living in. And that is what... That is a cure-all. I mean, it's got to be the same experience when you take somebody from a totalitarian fascist regime and bring them over yeah. into, a, a like, America. It's got to yeah. be the same thing of, like, oh, what the fuck Yeah, is or bringing this? someone from a few hundred years ago now. That yes. shock. I, yeah, absolutely. And that feeling that this is just a kind of a phase. Yeah. You know? This is like a chapter. Yeah in everything a chapter or or a laboratory or a um or a condensation of matter for a little bit here yeah whatever that is a condens well th- uh, that's i mean i think it's a um one thing that comes to mind is uh people who haven't taken a uh haven't had a therapeutic psychedelic experience experience purposelessness and so there is a feeling of purposelessness to their life because when you die, it all blinks out. The thing that you come from is just like, you know, whatever, you know, combination of Caesar salads and Bloody Marys that your parents were drinking before they fucked you. And the whatever your mom was drinking or eating during your gestation period in her womb, that that's it. You just sort of swirl out of the Big Bang, out of the void, out of chaos, and you pop into time. You're just some ultimately random bit of harmonization based on the forces of evolution and when you die you go into you you go back into the nothingness again but the the other version of it is like fuck no man you're here for a reason you've come here to heal this place to work on the place you're here to work on this particular part of the time space continuum and you might keep coming back here over and over and over again to do the job now if that's true, if that's slightly true, if that's remotely true, and there's some state propaganda that's trying to keep people from understanding that there is a purpose to this existence that's based on making this particular sector of the universe a little more beautiful, livable, empathetic, happy, joyful, sparkly, beautiful, witchy, whatever you want to fucking call it, then, wow, man, that's some sinister... Shit. I don't think it goes that deep, though. I think it's just ignorance. I, I, are there are there actors? Are there bad actors? Uh, yeah, totally. I think so much of it is ignorance. Really, you know, I don't like to necessarily construct those sinister kind of guy, you know, calling the shots on things. Well, I don't think it's a guy. Or a group I think it's or one cabal. lady and she's a cunt. <laughs> she lives in fucking Yugoslavia. <laughs> well, no, I know what you mean. I mean, nobody wants to because, you, again, we have to... I think it's just ignorance. Population is very ignorant on these things. And uh, that that goes all the way up to the fucking politicians. You think they're not taking psychedelics? The politicians? No. Really? Do you, do you think they are? Yeah, I think there's a lot of things we like to think our politicians don't understand. One of the things that we like there's to... Maybe a couple. We like to think our politicians don't understand the internet. That's one thing people like. Oh, the bumbling old senator, senators, they have no idea what's going on with the internet. They're, they're just, they don't know how to use technology. They're all 80 years old. Oh, yeah, that's one. And I think that this is all part of the strategy, which is like, yeah, you definitely want to imagine that the United States government... 
the gestalt of the United States government is composed of 80-year-old bumbling senators and Congress people who have no idea about technology or about the internet. They're just sort of flying blind, crazy internet stuff. Who the fuck knows? I don't think that's the case. I think we're talking about the largest military budget on the planet that spawns much of the technology or has spawned the technology we get to enjoy today. Sure. So to imagine that this cabal of that is comprised of some old people but some not so old people and also some people that we don't even know who they fucking are isn't aware of the internet or isn't aware of the power that the internet holds over controlling the paradigm no i think that that certainly serves uh a power structure's goals for the thing it's trying to govern to not understand how absolutely acutely aware it is of one of the dominating forces in the place that it's governing. You know, I I think they do know, man, and and not to get conspiratorial or anything like that, but I would say that another um, aspect, another thing that you would want to control if you can control the thought patterns of the people that you're governing or the ideas that they were having is you certainly want them to think this is an accident at the, at the, it's just an accident, man. We just sort of accidentally sort of happened to outlaw the thing that makes you aware of your true identity. I mean, we didn't mean to, man. It was just like we don't know. We don't know anything about this substance that we studied during I... MK Ultra. We know nothing about the substance that we that the CIA purchased in mass from Sandoz Laboratories and secretly gave to people and documented experiments throughout the 60s this stuff we don't know anything about it that's when we were studying it we were just like what's this funny funny juice we don't know what it is come on man i hear you but i I mean politicians politicians can't get away with shit if people are more informed though they can't you know really i don't think so how is that really Look at what's happening you, you right now. You look like an asshole if you're a politician now who's against medical marijuana. For the most part, look at the states that it, it's. Look, look at, at the Jeff states Sessions. that Sessions. That's the people. No one's controlling Jeff Sessions. Jeff Sessions is tooting around about how how fucking marijuana makes you a bad person, and he's still in office. It's an act of Congress to change it. Yeah, and they're but they're and the people need to be more informed about things and pressure politicians. Politicians are going to kind of go in what direction I think that the people are. are wow, that's so optimistic. We, I don't, I don't, I don't see that as optimistic. I don't think politicians can get away with shit if the people won't. Um, the people need to demand these things. This is the difference between you and me. You think we're in a representative democracy. I think we're in a corporate. I think a politician like Hillary, puts her finger up to the wind, and she's going to go in any direction. And that's why when you look at her past, she's on, on Monday she's for this, on Tuesday she's for this. She's just going with the flow. And I think most of them are like that. Or a lot of them are. No, I think you're... I think <laughs> we did, This is a great disagreement because yeah. I want to talk about it. So um, this is my understanding of the, the way it works, uh, which is that the... the um, Decisions that are being made in the United States government are not based on some kind of studying the you know what the the majority wants, but the decisions that are being made are being made by people who've been given lots of money by lobbyists who represent different corporations, and this is doc. We know this. There's no question about sure. it. Hillary Clinton, a fucking Obama, just was you know, Obama's like on tour giving. Paid speeches. Hillary Clinton giving paid speeches to bankers. Uh, this is uh, Jeff Sessions is paid off by the tobacco companies. This is all documented. We mm-hmm. all know that they. This is a. So basically, what we did is we're we, agreement. Okay, we're in agreement. Uh-huh. So these people are being bribed by massive corporations with the intent of manipulating their legislative decisions. This is not a representative democracy if that's happening. If these people are actually bending to the will of the lobbyists instead of the will of the people, which is definitely happening, then we then it doesn't matter. It's not sticking your finger in the wind. I think it goes both ways though. I think but we're I think our different perspectives here this that middle ground somewhere. Let's find it. Let's find the middle ground because I, this is the um I, I would like to find the middle ground and I, and I would love to imagine that the people who are currently 
uh, I guess you could say, let's find the middle ground. The middle ground is healthcare. As desperately as the Republicans have been attempting to get rid of Obamacare, they have not been able to do it. They've wanted to, and and most of them, most of them outside of three have been attempting to like get rid of Obamacare, which according to various studies, leaves countless people uninsured, sure to die. And so, yeah, I guess you could say in that case, the massive outrage by the people was enough to apparently influence three Republicans out of, I don't know how many are voting, three, three, one of them who's got a brain tumor, (laughs) you know, one of them who's not long for the world, And the other two, uh, just, you know, people with a lot of character. So in that case, yeah, I guess there is an example of the people in some way or another overcoming the, what the, I guess the lobbyists or the wealthy want. But in general, I think we're looking at a uh, situation where the people are not being represented. And also our means of representing the people are pretty fucking archaic. You know, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, not only are we not being represented, but the way that, like, we have so many advanced systems for our voices to be heard, and um, no one's even utilizing those. And maybe the reason we're not utilizing those is because these motherfuckers don't really give a shit what we think. They don't care. This isn't a new. By the way, this is a new thing. Look at the fucking industrial revolution. Nobody gives a shit about the people. Like this whole idea that these politicians get, they really care. Oh, they really care about us secretly. You know, they're just kind of like accidentally, constantly fucking I think up. They care about their job and being reelected. Yeah, that's, there's a big difference. I, I think they care about that. Yeah, there's a big difference between caring about your job and caring about the people. I agree. Because then if you just care about your job, then you just lie your ass off to the people in the election cycle. And you get reelected because people just want to believe the shit you're saying, even though we've been shown again and again, this isn't how it works. I mean, look, man, this is a, this is a scary thing for people to realize. And the reason it's scary is because it requires action and nobody wants to act. Everyone's like, my God, that we just paid. How many billions did we just pay for the military? Was it sixty billion? Let's look it up. I think they just passed the seven hundred billion. Seven hundred billion. Yeah. So okay, we just are paying seven hundred billion dollars mm-hmm. for our military. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Meanwhile, fucking Puerto Rico, we're not doing shit over there. That's what man. it costs? That's what it costs to keep this whole status quo going. Keep this monetary system going. Keep the military of, the, of Europe. That's what we're doing. It's a post World War II world. Yeah, we fill that vacuum. We're gonna be there for a little bit. That's all. What we're do you gonna, mean? We're not gonna stay. Stay where? As the global hegemon right now that we are. What do you mean? We're gonna like let go of it, or just naturally it's, be surpassed? It's not by gonna some... be a conscious thing. What but you... It will be a collapse. Oh, you think a collapse is there's like an impending? I don't collapse. know one in history that hasn't. What do you think it's gonna look <laughs> They're like? They're gonna try to grab it. Who's gonna grab it? People who have the most to lose. Yeah. Who? Who? I don't know. The <laughs> fucking cobble, motherfucker. See, now you're getting conspiratorial. Who's gonna? Who's grabbing it? Who's it? Who's at the range? They're doing it right now. This whole fucking administration's doing it. Trying to. And that's what kind of to me shows that no one's in control. Because I don't think anyone. If if you were in control and you let this happen, I don't think you get too much control. Let what happen? This horseshit that's going on right now which horseshit (laughs) this whole administration and this this is like this whole fucked up period right now that we're starting to acclimate ourselves to i think which is becoming a little normal that this guy's in office and and that's dangerous to me yeah it's that's super dangerous of, of of thinking that where we are right now is normal in any way it is not normal yeah, but it's kind of exciting, I guess, right? Sure, it's interesting. You can look at it that way. <laughs> because it's it, like that the idea is it's sort of wherever there's, you know, I think to quote Trump, he did say something along the lines of like when there's like economic collapse, that's when he makes the most money. Sure. And so if like the government is wobbly right now or if there's like obvious, like if it's at this point, it's obvious, like if our system is set up in a way 
that that fucking dude has clambered into power and it's like saying like literally the most ridiculous shit that really like any if you heard any of your friends say it you might not hang out with them anymore like right. things like uh, I think his the connections that it, his neurons and you think he's crazy. I, I don't think he knows what's going on. I think don't think he has insane? any grounding. I, I I I think there's just a fucked up like mess in his brain. Puerto Rico, just in that big water, surrounded by <laughs> big water, I ocean think it, water. I think it's just this complete. <laughs> he's crazy. Fucking mess. Robert Anton Wilson called him crazy in an interview. He said Trump's crazy back back, and that was probably yeah. twenty years ago, fifteen years ago. Yeah, what does what does his nervous system look like? Well, he's it's a, a th- disaster. So, but then here we are: trauma, mess. So we've got a malfunctioning meat computer that's made its way into the fucking presidency, right? And we can't stop it. And so, in but I think that is a beautiful thing because what it does is it indicates to everybody outside of the whatever his like constituency is that we have to redo the system the system's broken it's a 200 and some year old system that we were based on when we were this agricultural country that existed from the coast to like ohio it's the operating instructions are not appropriate it needs an upgrade the whole thing needs an upgrade. The operating two tenors, system. Two senators from each state. What? What, what do you mean? Why, how can Wyoming have the same, and Montana have the same say as New York? Right. What? It yeah. doesn't even make sense. Yeah. The system is a mess. Yeah. And then we have this, I understand the, the upholding the constitution and all that but we've turned it into this fundamentalist bible thing that we have to operate in the 21st century like we're in uh the 18th century here it doesn't the world changes things have changed well yet we're still going by this old system yeah and not only that but what is it how the presidency is seeming to be like kind of too dangerous to even have have a why does, yeah, why does this guy have this ability to just control? And hey, and this is the this is the unpopular shit that you know guys like Dan Carlin have been plugging away at, and 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 Scahill have been plugging away at all throughout the Obama administration that this fucker is getting too much power still. It's accumulating it, they, and he's your guy now, and that's and you trust him, and so now you now you um. You know, you've let them accumulate that. But when it's not your guy, just remember, just remember that he's going to use everything that was accumulated and do the reverse. What do you think there should be instead of a president? I like don't know. Council? I've been trying to think about it. Yeah. Like I a don't... Supreme Court or something? Like a, like a... Why is there one American who's like, <laughs> there's great, 300 great and some question. million. Why is there one American, Dude, one that's such human an excellent that, just, thing. I'm never just, really... that just sits there and... and and just fucking plays this stupid ass role. It's a stupid character. Yeah. It's like, and, and Trump is just, it, it, it's being exposed now because, you know, he doesn't act, he just acts like this asshole. And it's, it's, right. it's just, ex, it's exposed. I, I don't, who cares about this role? But yet it does carry weight that he can just sign something? He's a fucking president, man. He's a president. It yeah. does it. I mean, that's like, that's. He's the president of the greatest country on earth. And, and I, this is why I think he is the ultimate president that we've ever had. Because what he has done for us is not enact some great new social system that embraces uh, service and empathy and uh, figures out ways to get people the resources that they need. But what he's done is just what you're saying. He's exposed a an antiquated, archaic, fucked up system. And also, as he continues to rampage through the presidency, knocking shit over, terrifying us, freaking us out, flying the plane in in fucking insane ways, then it moves us one step closer to rethinking the way we're running shit here. And that's pretty exciting to me. 